going everybody, my name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD Visually Blind. Holy crap, what a mouthful, I can't believe it. And we're in hero mode! Haha, <laughs> I said at the beginning of every episode. Um, okay, last episode, we continued our travels! Uh, like, leave me alone, all of you! Jeez, bullies. What the buttheads. So, oh yeah, oh, I forgot about that. Okay, we need to deal with that. Oh, I would've sucked to forget about. I mean, not really, we would end up going back for it anyway, but this will be a pain in the pre-pee head to go back for it. Oh man, that's gonna totally impede. What the heck are you doing, Sea Hat? Jeez. Oh no, you're in the way! I think it was right here. All right, eh, eh, do they, they don't even interrupt me when I'm using the grappling hook, really? That's kind of stupid. I kind of don't like that. In the last game, getting like the treasure from this island was so freaking hard because of all the freaking sea hats. You got 100 rupee, and it's only 100 rupees, really? I guess that must have been one of the really easy ones to get. All right, that's going the correct way. Yes, yes, it is. All right, so we got a, we got quite a bit coming up in this next island. Well, kind of, we got a big octo, I believe, and we also got a tri or a triforce hidden somewhere in this area. There's no platform or anything, so we don't have to worry about that. That'd be interesting if there was like a... Oh, well, let's see where the um, the thing is. Oh, I, oh, is this... This is the island I was thinking of. Okay, we might be here for a little while, guys. Oh, my good frame rate leg. Oh, I should, do, I should go for this eye first. This is the farthest one away. Oh, there we go. Haha, <laughs> got it. I wasted a bomb. Oh, no, so expensive. However, will I deal with it? And this guy's not squirming around all that much. I don't want to hit him. So, you know, maybe it hurts. It hurts! Stop it! Stop it! It hurts! Uh huh. Tell me more about your life, Mr. Octo. We have, yeah, like I said, I think we have two more. Weird how his eyes like, have like little squinty squints on it. It's really weird. They almost look like hairs. They look more like hairs to me than. Um. Yeah, they look like more like hairs to me than like eye slits or something. And I never even realized those are probably like his eye slits. Instead of being uh, his... Instead of being like hair follicles sticking out of his eyes. Because that didn't make sense. Actually, to be fair, I didn't even think that they were eyes. I thought they were just like little... Um... Hair follicle things. <laughs> like pimples, like ingrown hair crap. Alright. Oh boy, this might be hard to see. Alright, see what we got here. This is giving me a freaking another hundred rupees. I'll be pissed. I'll be P.O.'d. What do you mean that people say P.O.'d? Like maybe children who are like sitting in front of like family or something. You guys don't seriously another just uh, so stupid. Like I guess saying P.O.'d is something you would maybe think of like a younger person saying. Do we get the? Oh, okay, this is marked off. But it's so weird to me that P.O.'d is like a normal thing for people to say. Oh man, that freaking sail sucks. Now I get a freaking try here. Holy crap, that was just completely blind. I was listening for it. And I, honestly, that doesn't really work too well when you just try to listen to where the treasure is. It's honestly just worth it most time to just sail back out and figure out where it is and try and keep an eye on it. But um, yeah. So here we go, the private oasis. I've been excited to do this place for a little while. And I'm actually not entirely sure what I want to do. Wow, the sea is completely calm. Wow, the ocean isn't even moving right now. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that where it doesn't move at all. It actually, kind of makes it. It actually kind of looks bad to be honest. I feel like it should be moving maybe a tiny bit. I mean, the ocean is never completely 100% calm. Kind of interesting. Anyways, we've actually been here once before, a very long time ago. Uh, this is the private oasis. If you remember back when we talked to Mrs. Marie at Windfall Island, she gave us a cabana deed. And well, this is that cabana. cabana. This we actually own in this game. Isn't that freaking awesome? Get off my property! I did not give you permission to plant a tree here and live! Stupid. I just kind of realized this Korok seems to have like... It's like a hairstyle. You know what this that hairstyle is exactly? It's what the the queen of the fairies has. Look at the shape of the leaf! It is completely 100% what the Queen of the Fairies has. That's crazy. Who left this money laying around my cabana? Stupid. <laughs> Who put this bottle here? We have two, apparently. Jeez, I don't even know where we got the first one. Noob. That's not nice. Don't tell Beetle. Oh, is he... 
Where is he? Oh, he's on top of the ship. How the heck did he do that? That sounds awesome. I just realized as soon as I said that, I'm like, well, it's probably not too hard to get up there. Is Ho gone? I think Ho is gone. That's sad. I guess maybe because I got the big octo. Aw. Mrs. Marie's cabin. Property of Windfall Island's lovely teacher. This is not welcome. Haha, -ha, so you think, huh? Well, before we go in there. Oh, holy crap. Jeez, that gave us a lot of rupees. Pretty sure we actually had a, a wallet full last time we came here. We're going to come here. And hook shot to this tree. Ah, we're in land that people have never seen before. Whoa, well, that's not true because there's a giant treasure chest up here. Oh, boy. What's going to be in this one? <gasps> you got a treasure chart. Open the chart on the map screen and the place where treasure lies will be lit up. Yeah. Don't tell Beetle. That's awesome. I don't want to get on top of Beetle's shop ship. Because you just need a Deku leaf from somewhere high up. All right, see where this treasure chart is. I saw it. I saw you. Don't try to hide from me. <laughs> it looks like an upside down, like, unimpressed face. Like a meh. And I, it's weird how this waterfall is just... I don't know. It just starts off, like, as a... Whoa! Didn't know that was a thing that happened. It starts off as a little, like, spout there or something. I, I don't even know. Anyways, it's also interesting how she doesn't have, like, a staircase, like, right, right here. Does she just have to climb up on this ledge? That's weird. Don't touch me with those filthy hands, you mischievous little scamp! Ahem! This cabana belongs to the master and the master alone! You grimy, trespassing little scoundrel, away with you! Away, I say! Wow, this guy's an asshole. Well, let's see what he says when I show him. When I show him. Oh, you know what? I should show Beetle this. I wonder if he says anything. When I show him this! Haha! Ew! Unclean! Most fell! Don't let those grungy hands. What? Wait. Th that. That. That's. Why, that's the. Uh, are you. Are you the new master? Are you Master Link? Ah, I'm so pleased to hear that name. Master Link. Please be gentle on this fine sore. Ah! And we're inside the cabana. And it's weird. He's facing the other way. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, whoa, what the heck? He's here all of a sudden. What? Whoa, there's Bone China mugs up there. I didn't know. They're not, they're not mugs. Check. What am I checking? Check? Where does it say check? Fireplace. That's that's cool. Ow! Jeez! Holy cow, that did two hearts of damage. Well, you know what to say? They're on fire. And the ice arrow that can freaking freeze the hottest flames in the world. I can't use it! That sucks. Oh, I was actually curious what would happen. Because you can't actually... I, was, I, I wouldn't imagine they would let you freeze that fire. Oh, this bathtub. Where do I sleep? I don't have a bed in here? Are you serious? Is this thing check here? Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, Master, do you have any interest in the amusements of nobility? I do indeed. Well, in that case, would you care to hear the explanation of the game? Nope. I know how to play these pretty well, actually. Very good, Master. Please enjoy yourself. I guess we're going to play that. Oh, but you know what? It, it might be hard because I don't... I only like playing these when I could see a reference picture right beside me. So, you know what? We're going to come back to this, I think. Nope. We're going to come back to this. Sally, I must quit. I'm sorry to have bothered you with such a trifling thing. Most terribly sorry. Ah, all of a sudden, I've become painfully aware of my existence as a door. <laughs> it's so weird. Why? Is this what the Japanese find funny? What the heck? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, interestingly enough, I just saw YouTubers react where um, there were some Japanese people involved. And they showed off a commercial. Oh, but by the way, there's a, there's a grappling hook spot up here. Um, and they show like a commercial. What was the commercial? Oh, no, it wasn't a commercial. Sorry, it was a music video of this lady going through a forest, and she finds gnomes, and the gnome has tight pants, and she wants the tight pants, and she's dancing, and it's it's really weird. But it's, it was really interesting to hear like um, the Japanese people that were reacting to the video were saying it was really weird, and America is a strange place. But it made me think of like how many crazy commercials like the Japanese have and it's like really Did, I guess they don't find that weird there but it's really strange to me really really strange I don't know it's like they're not aware of how weird they are as well not to say that like you know Americans and Canadians aren't weird as well but I, I don't know I just thought it was interesting anyways we are in like a sewage type place which is really weird because you know this is just like a one 
cabana thing, so why is this sewage or sewer so like why why is there so much of it? Holy crap! Jeez! Holy poopies! <laughs> poopies. <laughs> it means rupees. Alright, so I'm gonna crawling around at the speed of Link with the, my little penis hanging out. We see that? So gross little pecker down there. Gross. I wonder why. Why is that a thing? This might be the wrong way. This might lead back outside. Well, not outside, but where we first began. I think it is actually. Yeah, it totally is. Okay. I think. Uh, Alright, we're gonna actually go this way. And then we're gonna go straight. Weird, whenever you change direction, sometimes you'll see through the walls. Which is really weird. You'd think they would've... Well, what the heck? What's this way? I must know the truth. I must know the truth. I must know the truth. I know which way to go. I was going the right way there. This is a pretty easy maze. I mean, I'm going through it in a weird way, so if you think, what the heck? I, I don't understand. It's so weird. It, it really is a pretty easy maze. Holy crap! Ah, oh, I feel so good. This is why I don't want to... Get a full wallet because this is just so nice. It's such a nice feeling to collect a bunch of rupees at once. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, well, 1,500 rupees isn't exactly a whole lot of space. We are coming towards the end of our travels across the ocean. Kind of, not really. I mean, I guess we do have like three rolls left if you count this one. Is this the way? Oh, this is the way. Oh, I didn't, did not even realize I was going the correct way. But yeah, so essentially... One path leads to the other, because there's two holes in that beginning room we started in. One path leads to the, right back to the beginning. One of them leads to a rupee room. The other one leads to a rupee room. And the third path leads here. So, two rupee rooms. Path that just loops around to the beginning. And path that leads here. So, it's, it's really not that complicated. Also, if you see concrete while you're crawling around, it's a good sign you're going the correct way. Uh, this is actually just a shortcut. That's where we began. We want to go this way. We want to go yonder, as I've been saying. Ooh, there's another thing. If you look at these walls from a weird angle. Like when I walk this way, it looks like there's a, there's a hall in that corner still. Like there's a way to go, but there's not. What the heck? Why is there? What? What? Why was there? Huh? It was like there was poop there. <laughs> it was like water, but it was brown. It was poop. Alright, this, this part of the maze I actually don't know very well. I'm kind of hoping I'm going the wrong way because I want to get more rupees. <laughs> it feels so good. Oh, man. That wooden flare scared me and brought a flashback, a PTSD-related flashback. Was this the correct way? Oh, no, it wasn't. Good. Well, it was the correct way of where I wanted to go. Like, I want to get these rupees. Since, you know, I am a completionist and all. But, um, Yeah. Yeah, these wooden floors down here gave me a flashback in Windfall Island going for the Picto Box and running to those freaking rats that ring the bell and make you fall down to the outside. It sucked. I hated it. <laughs> it was terrible. Wow, that was a shorter path than I remember being. I felt shorter the second time. That's like, that's how like whenever you take a road trip somewhere, always the ride back feels quicker than the ride there. It's really weird because you you would think it would be the other way around. But it's not because it's like you're excited um, on the way when you're going somewhere for a road trip. But on the way back, you're like all sad. Well, not really sad, but I mean, well, I guess sad is a good way to say it. Uh, that it's over and all that. And that you'd think it would take longer just because everyone's all worn out and tired, right? But no, it actually goes faster for whatever reason. That was another shortcut. I think it, it is. Just follow that path and it'll lead you back to the beginning. Oh! Get away from you, rats! Get away! Get away! Whoa! Holy crap! Redeads! Was it redeads in this cavern? This ca ah! That's an elephant! Jeez! It's so weird, just knowing that there was just a graveyard under Miss Marie's. What if she murdered all these redeads? That's crazy! That's crazy! Whoa! What the heck? Okay. <laughs> I was really confused there. Wait, was that was that like a crystal? Like if I do a spin attack, I'm not gonna. Look at, okay, look at Link's shoes when I do a spin attack here. There's sparks underneath his shoes. Come on, I'm trying to do spin attacks. That's weird. I don't know what that for. Also, look at the floor. I always thought this room was interesting because of all, like, the fossils and crap in here. What? What is that? Is there a rat? Oh, there's a rat. Falling through the floor. Okay, great. <laughs> oh, this game is silly. Such a silly, illy, billy, hilly, billy. Eh, 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 eh. Next up, 
one step, two step, three step, four. You used to be able to go into first person mode when crawling through those tunnels. I don't know why I can't anymore. I mean, I didn't even realize there was first po person mode in this game for the longest time. Ooh, looks like we got some here. Bam! All right, Once again, at least to the beginning. And we're pretty much done with this place already. This place was really, very memorable to me playing this as a kid just because, you know, it's so fast. And so like, it's so, I don't know, the fact you own a cabana really excites me. And they give you, they give you one thing to do, that those puzzles, and there's actually 20 of them to do, I'm pretty dang sure. I'm pretty sure that's what all those lights on the side were, but I'll show you guys that in a second. <gasps> we got a driver's shot, now we need five more. Five more, that's many. That's a lot. Uh, this way? I guess so. Oh, jeez! I mean, that's okay. To be fair, losing rupees is probably a good thing at this point. <laughs> Yay! See, now we're back to the beginning. So, I do want to return and do these puzzles. At least some of them. Yeah, you see, there's how many lights are? Two, four, two, wait, two, four, six, eight. Oh, so there's 16 in total. So, yeah, I do want to return and do these someday. I don't know, maybe it'll be like a side let's play if I ever run all things to do. Or maybe like a continuation. Oh, I'll break my own stuff. <laughs> I forgot this is my own cabana for a second. I was like, oops, I shouldn't break my own crap. Look, he's not a real man. He's a board. Ah! <laughs> Implying I already didn't know he was a thing or he was a door. So yeah, I, the picture changes each time you do this. I know one's my sister, that's all I remember though. Probably one's like my grandma. The other is all characters. It'd be cool, like if it was like one was like the Helmrock King. I don't know why I keep jumping in my head, but I keep thinking that maybe there's one of a Helmrock King. And these whirlwinds by my cabana. I feel like I need to vanquish them from this world. Ah Alright. Well, I guess we're pretty much done here already. Kind of unfortunate, but you know, what can you do? Alright. Bomb Islands. Alright, we need to make that blue point that way. We need to make it point east. Wait, we are going east, aren't we? Wait a minute. Oh. Wait. I'm so confused. Okay, never mind. It, it's still just as confusing. Alright, so. Sorry, I was looking at my compass again, being wondering what the heck was going on. Ah, there's a watchtower here. Good too? No. It appears we already got the bomb fish here as well. Look at all these islands here. Oh, this is where the last submarine is. Hmm. There's no bottle in here. I'm gonna be really confused. Wow, this is a really short watchtower. Oh wow! Seriously, the boat almost touches the bottom of it <laughs> when the waves go up. Oh, maybe not. Well, that's pretty dang close, actually. What we're used to. Pretty dang close. Hello, assholes. Hey, they see me. Maybe this is this, is this a smaller platform in general? Oh no, this, this feels just as good as normal. It looks like we've already killed all the things up here. Come on! <laughs> Silly invincibility frames, tricks for kids. Oh, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, I do have bombs out already. For some reason, I did not think I did. Okay. Don't know if I had bombs last time I came here or not. I'm not gonna take the risk. All right, anything? Let's start climbing down, because I don't think there's gonna be anything. All right, there's not. Okay, well, I tried. I and mean, then I got so far, but in the end, it totally matters. Uh, where's the submarine? Dang it, freaking rain obscuring my vision. Uh, there's a bomb island over this way, right? Oh, there it is. Look at that. Trying to get out of my view. Good lord. So, this is the last submarine. What's that sad to me? So many sads. Hey look asshole, I'm breaking all your shit. And now you're gonna be dead. Ugh. I feel kinda bad for these guys. I mean, they're in rags. <laughs> Just floating on a ship for all eternity with nothing. Nothing at all. At least the ones on the watch showers, at least they have like some coverage. You know, they have a roof over their head and they don't have walls. Oh yeah, we definitely haven't been in this one. Oh look at this. This is cool. This one actually feels like a place people live in. <laughs> So never mind, I don't feel bad for that asshole out there. Because he could come in here and he probably gets a meal. Huh. 
<laughs> Don't steal my rupees. I guess actually that's the first time we've probably ever seen a rat steal a rupee before. Oh, he's so happy to have the rupee. <laughs> really? You don't even get to climb up? Interesting chest. What is it going to be in here? <gasps> you got an empty bottle. Wow, that's really weird. Okay, I guess that's the fourth and final bottle. Can we get up there anyway? I guess not. It's so strange to me. Oops, I don't want to pull that out. Get out of here, asshole. Get out of here. Good morning, you asshole. That doesn't kill them, really? I think it should. I want to climb up there. I mean, I know this isn't going to work. Let's try it anyways. Hook shots aren't supposed to latch on anything that's wooden. Dang it. So lame. So lame sauce. I must know. Is there anything in these barrels? A single rupee. <laughs> Alright, there's going to be nothing there. And break you! Three rupees. Well, it's better than zero rupees. But it's weird when you find like a pot with like three rupees in it instead of just one rupee. I don't know why. It's, just, it's, it's like when you break up with a pot or a barrel, you often expect to only see one item come out of there. But when there's more than one, it's just kind of weird. It'd be even more weird though if like multiple and different items came out. Like a, a rupee, a joy pendant, and a skull necklace. That, like that would be weird to come out with like one barrel. Really random too. I don't see a beam of light. It's a beam! Uh-huh. Alright, I see where it is. Alright, right here. What? I was like, wow, I got dead on that time. And that's like, I didn't get it. What the heck? Jeez. Alright, so I guess there, um, there's the answer to my bottle pandemic issue thing. Uh, I'm stretching. Ugh. We got a piece of heart. Yay. All right, Bomb Island. I guess we were here once before. And since we got the map fish and all that, right? We did get the map fish. Yep, we told some goats did. Hello, Mr. Ho -O. Ho Ho, to think over there there would be such a container. I feel like I talked to him before and he just said something like, uh,. Or he said that, but I probably assumed that it was actually, he was talking about like a heart container. Like that makes sense. He's talking about a container, heart containers. And, oh, sorry, Mr. ho -Oh. I hope he didn't, I didn't scare you with a bomb going off beside your face. I just collect this fairy. I'm really happy we have all four bottles and I don't have to worry about finding the other one. Because that was a bit stressful to me. <laughs> like, I don't know where it is. Uh, selfie with Bay. That's. I don't know what that is. Well, I do know what it is. And they're wondering, what the heck is that? Well, I was going to say spoilers, but it's not really. Well, I guess it kind of is spoilers since we don't have an item yet. But it's 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 a special little extra thing, and you don't know what it is. Haha, -ha, unless you've played this game before, in which case you probably would know what it is. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please free, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Chris, and the next episode, we'll explore Bomb Island and all it has to offer. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!